Tonight on Hip on the Spot News. The wind blows and the silence before the storm gathers. AI is training to be more human or something close to that. Another sim gets the F-14 by Hit Blur. And another sim, really? Yeah, gets version 6. Wow, wow, wee, wow. This and more on How I Play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I'm Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to take a look at the latest updates in DCS world. Once again, things are very quiet on the DCS front. The next open beta update is still waiting to be announced, at least at the time that we are recording this video. We did get some info from ED regarding their complete tight formation general flight model implementation and moving on with the development of loose formation behavior for the AI. Due to large turn radius for loose formation modes, wingmen must follow their own independent trajectories in order to position correctly on the leader. New algorithms are being developed to take both trajectories and pilot aircraft visibility conditions into account, similar to what real pilots must do to keep their lead aircraft always in sight. We got a graph that depicts a recording of the step trim position during acceleration and deceleration. As increased power creates a nose-up pitching moment, the step trim positions are not the same for acceleration at max and deceleration at idle, especially at low speeds and requires more nose-down input. Mac-related changes are noticeable near Mac 1. This is exciting news for AI behavior and, as ED mentions, this will make the wingman and general AI aircraft general flight model unique in any simulation. Nice. So with the early access release of the F-15E Strike Eagle by Rasbam, we got the chance to spend more time with it and learn the basics of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. Me and Sergeant Dev Rupesh got to test this beauty in its current iteration here in DCS World. And apart from certain desync between VSO and pilot, we are impressed with the quality work, system functionality for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground, and it's a pleasure to work together in the Strike Eagle. Makes you think, how will Talon AI feel? Also, I have to mention the great tutorials that are included for the time being. I know there will be added more in the future, but with the current available tutorials, the pacing is amazing. I wish other modules will take in this type of short and easy to follow tutorials that focus on what you need to do in a certain situation and deliver the instruction with a bit of humor. All the praise goes to Rasbam and Baltic Dragon and everyone that was involved with this. Oh, and by the way, let us know if you want to see some gameplay videos here on the channel with yours truly and our community manager Rupesh. We would love to share. Also, please keep in mind that during the early access period, Rasbam will be continuously adding and enhancing the capabilities and content of the aircraft system, missions and documentation. And we will keep our eyes peeled for the next improvements and additions for the Strike Eagle. Moving on, Heat Blur is developing the F-14 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, yes, I know, I know, but it's news and it's Heat Blur. Together with their partners at India Fox Deco, they are pushing closer to an initial release for the F-14. With the recent announcement of Flight Simulator 2024, they see the F-14 for Microsoft Flight Simulator as a long-term project with several exciting F-14 surprises in store. Hmm, sounds interesting. I wonder what surprises? And if you are eager to get your hands on DCS modules, now is one of the best times as most aircraft, terrains, modules and campaigns are on sales with huge 50% savings. Also, DCS is participating in the summer sale on Steam. The campaign ends on the 16th of July, 2023. Moving on with news for our talented livery creators, ED is holding a B-17G livery contest in order to expand their livery offering with the DCS World War II assets pack. Using the official template, you can submit your creation and they will choose the top 10 liveries to be integrated into DCS World War II assets pack. Here are some requirements. The livery must be created using the official template. 
and must be based on historical liveries in use for the B-17G in the timeline of 1943 and 1945. The livery must be associated with one of the countries that the B-17G was used in. And if you do a specific livery with nose art and aircraft name, please also include a generic version with no nose art, aircraft name and numbers. This will give users more options in missions for both single player and multiplayer. So each entry should have two versions. More information is in the video description. The contest will run until the 30 August 2023 and the top 5 winners will receive a free copy of the DCS World War II Assets Pack or a module of their choice. The top 10 will have their deliveries added to DCS and the top winner, first place based on voting, will also receive two additional modules of their choice. Good luck to everyone and we are looking forward to see your creations. In other news, Lockheed Martin has released Prepare 3D version 6, their next iteration of their already known learning platform for flight sim enthusiasts and students. It features enhanced atmospherics, bringing the sky to life with user control of real-time weather, time of day, seasons and a variety of lightning effects with updated volumetric clouds and atmospheric system improving visual, performance and support for multiple weather stations. It features a realistic HDR lighting system that provides dynamic lighting and shadowing based on the time of day for virtual cockpit, terrain, clouds and more. The new graphics features include improving edge blending with a temporal anti-aliasing and shadow detail with screen space ambient occlusion plus support for planar reflections and wet surfaces. As expected, the sim has a whole earth VGS-84 model with over 24,000 airports, landmarks, coastline, lakes, rivers, roads, rails, parks, streams and utility line based on vector data. I link the release notes in the video description if you are interested to see what is new with the version 6 of Prepare 3D. The sim offers the standard licenses as follows Personal, Professional and Professional Plus. And that's it, thank you all for watching, remember to check our sponsor VR Rock for your VR blue light protection and prescription lenses. Many thanks to our Patreons that support our channel, Rhinox, Rich Amberside, Steven Adastic, Pegasus24, Runan Bish, PVAK Malone, Crash, Santiago Ordonez, Hobo, Dieter Nussbaumer, Tony Prince, Mr. D, Ian Masak, Molt Jam and Alex Pitts. Thank you guys for still being here today and supporting our channel. And for everyone else, feel free to use the thanks button here on YouTube, check our sponsor and become a patron. Remember to leave us a like if you find the video informative and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.